Otherwise, I think they are already dead during during Cultural Revolution or earlier during the entire rightist movement. I always quite outspoken. That outspokenness got Cha in trouble at home, but sent him across the border to Hong Kong in the 1940s. I'm a journalist. I'm a translator of a newspaper in Shanghai. And uh, that newspaper opened a branch here, and uh, they sent me to do work here. When that paper turned communist, Louis Cha left it and decided to try his hand at fiction writing. He wrote kung fu novels for Chinese readers. And, uh, it's uh, quite successful, uh, very popular among Chinese readers. And uh, from the royalties, uh, I'm uh, accumulating some money. The 34 novels with 40 million in print are probably the most successful works of fiction in the Chinese language. Several have been made into movies. He used all the money to begin his newspaper, Ming Pao. Among the scoops he's most proud of, the first exclusive interview by a Hong Kong person with Deng Xiaoping. An interview granted because Deng read his novels. Even with his connections to Chinese leaders, he had no inkling the Chinese dictator would slaughter his own citizens by the hundreds. Because a dictator can be very reasonable today, can be crazy tomorrow. Cha's newspaper is one of the most widely read Chinese dailies on earth. He's an example of Hong Kong capitalism. It is the best thing for capitalist society. I think that always open a opportunity and is open to everybody. Louis Cha has retired from writing novels and has limited his journalism to ownership of his paper.